All right, last up we have Tyler Smith, and his talk is called Scalable Consensus. Okay, um, hi everybody. I am Tyler. Uh, I want to talk to you about my Meteor app that I built recently using Meteor. It's called Gadfly. So one of the things that I thought was very formative in society since I was very young was the fact that consensus wasn't really scalable. And what I mean by that is the more people that you need to involve in a decision, the harder it is to actually form a consensus. And you see that a lot in stuff like representative government or boards of directors and stuff like that. So this is something that I built just to kind of like try to address that problem. And I thought it was just kind of cool. It's not really a big deal. Just kind of wanted to like share. So yeah. So the idea behind this is that I notice things like Reddit on the internet. And Reddit's a way, or I look at Reddit and I see a lot of people involved in big discussions, but it uses like really latent technologies to create what I find is a very democratic process. Like, it is a way to involve a lot of people in a discussion, and the discussion <laughs> actually goes somewhere. But the thing that I see about Reddit, I see it has a lot of potential um, for like this problem that I mentioned earlier, but I think that also it is optimized for like content aggregation, which is what it does. That's what it's designed for. So what I did is very simply made something that is Reddit, but designed specifically for arguments. And that's <laughs> what I wanted to show you. So here's an example. I've got this cool force directed graph, D3 stuff. And um, what this is, is a thread on Reddit about doxing by Rebecca Watson, who, if you don't know, is like this like gamers gate person. And what the idea behind at least what you're seeing here. I've actually like, thought a lot about this project, and there's a whole lot I could do with this, but the very simplified version that I have to show for you today is um, a simple thing where every interaction that you do is either an agreement or disagreement, and agreements apply to the thing they refer to positively, and disagreements apply to the thing they do negatively. So the idea is that if you have like a traditional forum post right, about, like, US foreign policy, and then you've got maybe like someone brings up the founding father's intentions. And it's like, that's a relevant topic for that discussion, but it is also off topic because it derails what the thing was trying to do. I wanted to take that divergence, which is, I think, incredibly important, and create a system that allowed that discussion to flourish and still contribute to the whole without um, like derailing it. So that's what this is. And it's a, you know, view, you've got like this like person who's like talking about doxing, disagrees with it, and then this like big long comment chain, but that doesn't like detract from the main discussion. And I, this is, as I said, a very simplified thing, but at the end of the day, when you follow this to its conclusion, what you have is a like concrete value, which is what that result of that discussion is, whether people agree or disagree with it. So after all this like stuff, you have a value, which is what something is. And I think that is a cool thing. Thank you very much. Uh, does anyone have a question for Tyler? Yes. How do you know if something is agreement or disagreement? Oh, how do I know if it's an agreement or disagreement? Well, uh, the green arrow means agreement, red arrow means disagreement. And if you mean like in terms of selecting what you do, like for example, I'll do a little demo here. Oh, <laughs> I think my friends are doing stuff. Uh, so I'll do like Tyler, no. Which is obviously not exactly a good disagreement, but I could disagree with that and be like, no, isn't a good argument. So you're, you're saying that <laughs> you're trusting the person posting the comment to select whether he is agreeing, he or she is agreeing or disagreeing? Yes. 
Okay. Does that strike you as? <laughs> the question was, do I do I trust the person to select whether they're agreeing or disagreeing? And I'm it's saying. It's going to break immediately on Reddit. What? This will break immediately on Reddit. Do you, uh, you don't trust people to know whether they're agreeing or disagreeing about something? Well, so I would expect some kind of interesting like, analysis of the text that figures out whether there is agreement or disagreement. And if you let the person posting the disagreement choose whether they can like, completely mess up this graph, uh, then they're, they're going to do that, aren't they? Oh, well, I mean, nothing's immune to trolls, if that's what you're saying. Fair point. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had I had kind of designed this thing to try to involve like the community as a whole as much as possible. Naturally, there are going to be people that try to screw it up, but that's inevitable on the internet. Any other questions? All right. Thanks yeah. so much. Oh, oh, uh, oh, was there a question? Okay. I was going to say, so people can come here and vote. You're not doing any sentiment analysis of Reddit threads or anything, and automatically creating these graphs? Oh, well, it's not, it's not, uh, well, it's, sorry, I don't think I understand the question. So your demo is that people would come to your application and use your kind of UI widget on the side, or are you saying that you are analyzing existing threads? And basically no, 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 that was just an example that I sort of did. Uh, people would be like, sorry, the question was, would, would, is this like a reflection of Reddit, essentially? And, I, and my answer is no. This, someone would come to this arguing something, like maybe uh, like some sort of proposition in California or whatever, like, I think this is this. And then it would be deliberated on. But this is independent of Reddit. I just use a Reddit thread as an example. Right. Any more questions? All right, thank you, Tyler. Sure.